My name is Erin Riley. That's me playing the accordion. I just got it in the summer, and I'm pretty darn proud of my progression on it. You know, it's funny. As a culture, we associate work as being a necessary evil and relaxation and profit of a productive day. I don't agree with this, though. I mean, if we do the work we love, and I mean really love, the reward of said work is that we get to do it for the rest of our lives. I have been clowning with my dad for close to five years now. In that time, we have performed at festivals, vacation Bible schools, and birthday parties throughout our community. In this way, my hobby for clowning has developed into something I love, and therefore something I hope to pursue as a career someday. I therefore turned to the web, reading as many clown biographies as I could, all in an effort to discover how they had succeeded at fulfilling their dreams. A ringling clown attributed Smirkus with giving them the necessary skills to making it in the circus world. Two weeks later, I signed up for a two-week session at Smirkus Camp. After a year of busy fundraising, I had raised the money to go. The circus industry represents working as a team to create something bigger than just one person, and it acts as an art form that makes it possible to convey feeling to the audience in a way that most jobs don't. Circus is something I respect, and therefore something I hope to be a part of. Smirkus had a chance to grow into a performer I hope to be someday, and oh my golly goodness, it's an adventure. It's an opportunity to erase the boundaries of what's possible and draw new ones. How could there be a better way to spend the summer? I've only been to Smirkus camp once before, but I am a very self-taught individual. Thank the Lord for YouTube! 
I've been juggling for a few summers now and unicycling in community parades for the last five. I also have some very basic experience with devil sticks and roller bola. Mainly, however, I am a clown. I've been working hard on my pratfalls and I often write skits to perform. As a matter of fact, I wrote and directed the family chaplain skit just shown. I can add to your ring my juggling abilities, ball club or hat, my unicycling, and most prominently, my clowning. My greatest weakness is undeniably and unescapably math. The very word makes me cringe. It's the class I work the hardest in and the class in which I do the worst. I play flute and band and I've recently become obsessed with my accordion. I like to make comic books and I write a lot. I'm also very fond of building props. Paper mache is my best friend. I made the acts in scene 4 of the family chaplain skit and it's simply hilarious to see people watching this part of the film because they think it's real. I wish you could have seen my grandma's reaction, but I'm sure you can imagine her concern. I've been in a couple school plays and I performed and chose with our clown club, but I'm very fond of the family chaplain skit previously shown. In this group situation, the characters of the skit were my parents, brothers, and sisters. I wrote and directed all of the skits with the aim of showing my personal strengths while encompassing the strengths of my family members. Through this experience, I really learned about balancing how we have very pointed, down-to-business attitude while still having fun. It was important that in my direction, I wasn't very strict in the places that didn't matter so much, so that I could keep things light. I mean, if you try to film a clown video and everyone's feeling bad, it's going to show, and it's completely unnecessary. To raise money for Smirkus Camp last year, my sister and I put on our very own clown show dinner, a show called The Pie Car. And if that's not surprising enough, we had it in her apartment living room. We could see 20 people at tables along her walls facing into the center where we performed. We had three shows over the course of two weekends and raised approximately $600. The really cool thing about that statement is that most of the money wasn't actually from ticket sales, but rather from a donation jar had sitting out. The show was a musical, with us as the only characters until a surprise cameo at the end. In those three hours, we served food, we sang, we juggled, we threw pies, and I think we may even have inspired. The story was about a clown character, played by myself, who decided to be and went to be it, hailing my own life at the present. It shared my belief that sometimes you have to take risks to get results, and that dreams don't work unless you do. I hope you enjoyed my video. My name is Erin Riley, and I have always been, and will forever be, a clown. <laughs>